Hi guys. Guess what? Guess what I'm resurrecting right now? You know it. Tory Tuesday. And it feels damn good. I missed you guys on the Tuesday. Um, okay, so my Tory Tuesdays from now on are going to be about questions that I get from you guys a lot. Like a lot of DMs and a lot of comments um, and a lot of emails. And today, because it's I believe it's mental health month. I want to talk about something that I get asked all the time and that's how to be happy. People always ask me that and I don't know why. I guess it's because I exude positivity and happiness. Hopefully I do, but um, I just want to make it clear that nobody is just happy 100% of the time without making changes in life and having to work at it. And I think a lot of people just kind of get caught up in seeing Instagram and social media and what we show you is just us smiling and happy and having fun all the time. But that's just not the whole 24 hours of our day. And um, a few key things that I've done um, to kind of like make my own happiness a lot easier is a cutting out um, people in my life that uh, are just negative <laughs> and toxic and that I just really don't feel good around. You know, sometimes when you try to like hang out with people and you really, you really like them and you want them to like you, but for whatever reason, you just don't feel good when you leave, uh, leave being around them. Uh, that's a good sign that that person is just not good for you to be around. And that's cool. Like it's, don't overthink it. Don't stress about it. It's just, that's part of life. But you know, uh, when it comes to being happy, I just want to, uh, I guess make it clear that, um, I don't wake up happy every single day. And sometimes you gotta like really look for the things in life that you're grateful for and try to create a life that, um, is exciting to get up in the morning for. And that too takes work. There are days where, you know, we're going to wake up and we're going to be like, "Ugh, not this shit again. But if we just, you know, implement little things or little goals like getting healthier, getting more fit, um, which is why I love fitness so much. Um, those are things that we can look forward to and that will make us happier in the long run. Um, I want to see if you guys have any questions. Hi, Charlie. I hope you guys are having a good Tuesday. <laughs> That's an odd question. Do I sleep on my stomach? No, I actually sleep on my back. Like kind of oddly on my back, like all night, <laughs> barely moving. <laughs> Evidently it's good for wrinkles. That's what I hear. I don't know how much it's really helped. You thought we're, I was res resurrecting Nitro Girls? Yeah, right. Do you guys like Tory Tuesday? <laughs> Sergio. Yes, Sergio, what's your question? Can I get advice from you? I miss the old DX days too. I just want you guys to know that it like it genuinely like I want to cry because I'm I genuinely really do like think that each and every one of you deserve to be happy and it really makes me sad to think about people out there that are just trudging through life and and not smiling every day and not finding things to look forward to and that's why I just I like I feel like I say this over and over again and I just really I'm all about shedding positivity into people's life because not everybody gets it and sometimes we're just surrounded by assholes and people that are just putting us down. And it's really hard to, to think outside of that box and to have hope and to believe that, you know, bigger things are possible. That's why I keep talking about it because I just, I know that there are some of you guys out there that really need to hear it and know that, um, really <sighs> life can be what you make it and if you're in a place right now that's ugly and dark, um, 
the power is in your hands. Don't forget that. A lot of times I've done it myself. I've gotten caught up in just shitty relationships or shitty situations. Sorry for swearing. And um, kind of started playing the victim and feeling sorry for myself and forgetting that the power truly is in my own damn hands. So whoever needs to hear that, I needed to say it to you right now. So, um, <laughs> thanks. You guys are cute. Boozy of the North. You feel so much better after your morning workouts. Always. Oh, Boise, Idaho. Farah. What up, Boise? Chris, thanks. Is a 25 year age gap too much? Uh, Johnny, yes. 25 years is too much in a relationship. That's like a whole lifetime. If I try to eliminate sugar from my diet, should, I, should that include fruit? <sighs> fruit is good for you, but too much is not. I, If you're trying to eliminate sugar, I would definitely eliminate the high sugar fruits like grapes. Um, apples are really good, but you don't have to take them all out, if you, especially if you love them. And if you're cutting out processed sugars and replacing them with fruit, go for it. It's better. It's good. Hopefully that helps. Meganzo. Yes, 21 days really does make a habit. So 21 days. <laughs> whatever it is that you're trying to create, 21 days. I love you guys. Thank you. I miss you too in WWE. Thanks, Mallory. Oh, Chris, good. I'm so glad you heard this then. ITF coach. I'm so glad. Had a long conversation to, today with a friend how the world can be sad. Yes, the world is actually what I've experienced uh, just from my interaction with a lot of people. The world is getting more and more anxious and more and more sad, depressed. Because we're, I, I believe that on social media, there's a lot about social media that's really great but we are seeing all of this fabulousness and questioning our own lives and we're not seeing that everybody has like the boring part of life too. <laughs> the waking up and the like, well, there's not really a lot to do today, that kind of stuff. Like it's, um, we're comparing a lot and there's just, I don't know, if, I feel like sometimes the people that are more depressed feel a lot more, like they're more sensitive to uh, the energy around. And um, that's been a big issue for me too, uh, because I'm very like sensitive to other people's emotions. When I see sadness, um, as you probably just saw, like it really makes me sad. Like I feel people's sadness for them, which can be confusing to myself, especially. <laughs> Thanks, Ma Kirby. This is actually, my, this hairstyle right here is uh, very uh, lazy. This is a headband. It was like an $8 headband that looks like hair, but on those bad hair days, it really helps out. <laughs> ben. Thanks, Ben. Yep, with. Thank you, you guys. Okay, um, now I'm. Yes, Ahmad, you're right. Relationships ruled by money never work. Well, they work, as long as you're willing to compromise. <laughs> Somebody's got to compromise, and it's usually the things that you compromise that uh, make you happy. 
So there are plenty of people that are ruled by money and stay in relationships because they like money and uh, they're miserable. And they need that pep talk about being happy <laughs> that I just gave you. <laughs> come to Turkey. I'd love to come to Turkey. I love when you guys speak to me in another language and I don't know it. <laughs> I wish I did. <sighs> oh, how do you forget negative memories? Well, we can't unfortunately just bonk ourselves in the head and forget them, but we can focus on the more positive things. And I, something that's really helped me when, when negative things have happened in my past and people have really hurt me, um, instead of dwelling on it, because that causes anxiety and stress. And then you just, all you think, think about is harboring on the past. Uh, I, what really has helped me is just finding those silver linings on why somebody hurt me or why somebody did me wrong. Um, and it's, it really helps because putting a positive spin on it, no matter how freaking miserable it was or how much of an asshole somebody is, finding that positive spin and what it might have propelled you into even now or even in the future is a great way to kind of let go of all of the anxiety and the negative feelings. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm always looking for the silver lining. And I don't care what, what anyone says, it really does help. And why would you harbor on the crap anyways? It's nothing we can change. Silver lining is where it's at. Okay, I'm gonna try to get caught up. Oh, Nick, you got a band board. I'm so excited. You have to um, post a picture or send me a picture um, and tag me with it. Um, does money make you happy? Me in particular? Um, I think I don't need like millions of dollars or anything to be happy, but I obviously, I think nobody wants to have to worry about money. Yeah. So in that aspect, yes. But I have been at complete opposite ends of the spectrum and um, I am so grateful because I've had the opportunity to have <laughs> practically nothing and have a lot and, and be around people that have had way more than me, even at my most. And uh, God, it's been, it really was the most amazing, awesome lesson for me in being happy because a lot of times the people with the very most are the people that um, unfortunately can be the most miserable. Um, not always, but from my experience, um, you just can't put the focus on one thing. And I think that goes with anything in life. If you focus on one thing, like thinking that you're gonna lose 20 pounds and then you're gonna be happy, once you get that, you're, you realize like, shit, I'm not, nothing changed. It's the same way with money or fame. Like you think that all those years trying to get it, you're just all of a sudden wake up one day and be like, oh, I'm so happy. But that's not what happens because we're just the same person. We don't change. So we gotta find ways. That's why they always say, find ways to, to be happy and grateful now. Cause then when you have it, you'll still be happy and grateful. Oh, Bob, you're doing a 90 day challenge. I hope you're doing some intensity workouts. What period of life do you miss? I honestly don't miss any period of life. And that, I've actually never really thought of it like that. And that's actually really cool. Because a lot of times people Especially when they've like achieved success, like that's all they do is kind of revert back to that success. And that's not the, that's not how we're going to stay happy. We got to stay happy in the moment now. And I guess, um, the reason I don't miss any periods of life in the past are because, um, I'm happy now and they've all been so different. I 
I love you guys. Johnny! Johnny! Johnny, she's 51 and you're 22. You, are you kidding? I don't want to be negative. I'm really going to try to be positive, but that's, you need someone your own age. I hate to say it. You're too young. If you were even 32 and she was 61, I would say, okay, maybe. But you're, you haven't experienced much. Congrats. I'm not pregnant, but thanks for thinking that I look pregnant. <laughs> Is that a compliment? <sighs> you guys. <laughs> Ayla, you've been struggling with self-love a lot because of the media, honestly. Yeah, it's hard. Like, you know... <laughs> Even watching the silly Met Ball last night, you know, I'm kind of like laying on the couch, like no makeup on, taking my extensions out, <laughs> not classy and not hot by any means. Uh, you know, when you look up at the TV and everyone's beautifully dressed and got their hair and makeup done, even if it is in some crazy ass outfits, um, you know, you can kind of start to go, oof. Maybe I need to step it up a notch. It's It can be depressing. But we, you know, it's just important to remember that everybody goes home and takes off their makeup and gets into their sweats, just like us. Yes, Seth, I do have empathy. A lot. A lot of empathy. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Oh my God, you guys are funny. Wait. Oh yes, I remember you at the fish shop. Yeah, we were getting, um, we were getting lobster for New Year's Eve. Or crab or something. It's so hard to like talk and read your comments at the same time, you guys. That's a skill I just don't have. How old are you? I'm 43. 42? 42 or 43? <laughs> I think I'm 43. <sighs> Age is, age is only a number. I've been standing in line at the Walgreens getting a prescription before and overheard someone saying their birth date. And they were like 15 years younger than me. And I was shocked. Age is just a number. If you take care of yourself, it's definitely just a number. And it's all about your attitude and zest for life. I really hope to be, I will be, that granny that gets out on the dance floor and wears purple at the wedding. Like that is young. That's, that's not a hundred year old woman. That's how my grandma is. Thinking positive leads to depression. I don't know. I don't know how that's working out for you. I love reading from you guys. Sorry, I'm trying to see if there's any questions. If I could ever come back, who would I fight? Well, that's not a fair question because I'm old. <laughs> and I, uh, I, I, I don't want to compete with those young bucks. My back hurts just even reading that question. <laughs> Just reading that question, you see? I'm already like this, feeling my back. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm 
try and do. Yes, I have experienced so much growth and maybe that's part of what the message I want to like send out to the world. I just don't know quite how yet, but um, like I, I've gone from living in a very small town in Idaho, being really shy and quiet and had no self-confidence. I was anorexic for years in high school and then I became bulimic for a short time. I hated how I looked. I never thought I was thin enough. I weighed about 25 pounds less than I do now. Um, I was very terribly insecure. I, I really, um, even boys, even my first boyfriend, I would try to break up with him and I was so scared of hurting people's feelings that I would end up crying and apologizing and he would talk me out of it. Like that's how weak I was. And, um, or at least how I felt, maybe that's not what people thought. And, um, you know, like barely had the guts to move to LA to pursue a fitness modeling career. And, um, I, the only reason I got some of the some of those guts, I started building the confidence was because I started working out and I trained for a fitness competition. And that one fitness competition led me to photographers and having photo shoots. And it led to a fitness, a cover of a fitness magazine. All those little things that I did all through health and fitness and getting stronger, um, led me to having more and more confidence. And then that's what gave me the confidence to move to LA to pursue acting. I never would have ever even dreamed of even telling someone that I wanted to move to LA to be an actress or be in the entertainment industry when I was in high school. I would have been embarrassed to admit that. So, you know, I just want to like point out making those little goals, no matter what they are, really does build your confidence and can lead you anywhere. Your worst enemy is yourself. I don't think that we really would talk to people the way we talk to ourselves. The things that we say, we would never tell someone they can't do something. Well, maybe some of us. Hi, love. Hey, girls. We're, we're going live right now. Oh, can't take the girls now. What made you come up with the idea for fit tensity? Um, Dan, gosh, um, I, I don't know if you caught what I was saying earlier, but I just have this like need to help people feel good, feel confident because I've been there and felt so unconfident and there's nothing worse. And so I just have this passion for helping other people find their strengths inside and out. That's why I share personal things, personal struggles, because we all have them. And um, I also share ways to get stronger and healthier. And it's up to you to kind of figure out what works for you. But Fit Tensity was born out of the fact that I do do some one-on-one -on -one coaching, but a lot of people can't afford that. So I developed Fit Tensity for those people that can't really afford coaching. And um, it's awesome. So. If you're not on there. Thanks, you guys. I love you guys. Um, we're, we're, we promised the dogs that we're going to go um, take them for a run on the golf course. And I don't know if you've seen Pember, but she's kind of fat. So she really needs this run. I'll, uh, I'll story it for you. Um, but I loved this chat with you guys. Thanks for joining me and let's do it again. And hey, send me DMs and write your questions in the comments and stuff so I know what I should talk about. Let's do it. Keep on.